This weekend, we celebrated the Chinese Lunar New Year. We're heading into the Year of the Dog. But what does that mean for our dogs at home? Well, Wendy Ma, animal behaviorist, joins us with more on the new Lunar New Year, Year of the Dog. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And who do we have with us this morning? We have... Baxter, the Shih Tzu, and Brody, the Norwich Terrier. Baxter and Brody, and they've been on before. They're regulars now. They're, they're regulars. And, and they're really excited about that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're in the year of the dog now, the Lunar New Year. What does that mean for the dogs? Well, you know, for me, the year of the dog is just a way to remember to honor, respect, and love our dogs. Everybody loves their dogs. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to honor and respect? You know, just don't house them, feed them, get the medical attention. Enrich their environment. You know, teach them something. Get active with them. Mm -hmm. And teach them in a positive way instead of just scolding them for things that, that you don't like them to do. Okay, so honoring and respecting your dog. How do you know if you're doing that? Because I think most people probably think that they respect their pets, but maybe they're not? Well, maybe they're not because to love them, people think I respect them. But, you know, if you're just scolding them mm -hmm. for doing things that annoy you, but you haven't really taught them what to do, mm -hmm. you're not really respecting them. And um, how you teach them uh, is a big factor. Again... Do you just yell at somebody who doesn't know what to do, or do you teach them? So Brody, actually, is learning how to fetch. He's never, I've never done this with him outside of the house. So instead oh, of getting oh. angry with him, if he doesn't do it on camera in front of everybody, I just teach him that if he brings it back to me, he can get a treat. And he, at home, he usually puts it right in my hand, ah. but that's okay. Because this is his first time. Progress. Progress. Okay, so you're rewarding him for doing something good, but you wouldn't necessarily scold him for not being able to do it. Right, okay. right. It's about teaching. It's a learning process. Definitely. So what would you say, in this year specifically, what should dog owners be doing to honor their dogs in the yeah. year of the dog? You know, go out, find things that you like to do with them that um, stimulate their mind. Go do agility. Mm -hmm. um, there's obedience competition. There's confirmation. Westminster was just this month. Right. Westminster Dog Show. Um, there's tricks. AKC now um, has a program where you can actually get trick titles put on your dog. No way! Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So there's so much you can... There's barn hunting. There's lure coursing. There's so much to do except uh, beyond just lay on the couch and cuddle. I mean, that's a good time. And everybody right. wants to do that. But do other things with them so that they can use their brains and their mind. So many of my clients, they just, they love them so much, but they don't do anything with them. Right. And that's why they have behavior problems. Mm, okay. And pets are like, are like kids, you know? You, you have to take them out. They have to do their own activities. I think a lot of people, you know, can sometimes... Mm -hmm. have their dog's activities just on their own agendas and just what they want to do, but mm -hmm. you have to realize your dog has needs very different from yours. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Two different species trying to right. live together harmoniously. <laughs> okay, so definitely get out. Be respecting and honoring your pet. Think about not just what you want out of your pet, but what your pet needs out of you. I love that, and especially in the year of the dog, when it's their time to shine. Ex uh. Exactly. All right, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for the awesome tips. Again, everyone, respect and honor. Not just your pets, but everyone. Everyone. There you go. All right, thanks so much, Wendy.